Hi, welcome to a video of my flea market finds for today, Saturday, uh, September 17th, 2022. Not many uh, purchases, but two splurges and uh, one cool find for myself that I you won't care about, but I'm really glad. First table, the, the guy had a few LPs on the table, like uh, you, the way they set up the stuff, sometimes you, you know they're going to be expensive. And yes, like this LP was 20 bucks, managed to get it down to 18. Uh, I collect Serge Gainsbourg records. This is a soundtrack that he entirely uh, composed for um, for this movie I've never heard of, Madame Claude. And there's a song uh, by Jane Birkin, Yesterday, Yesterday. And uh, the cover has a, a, lot of a few scuffs and folds. There's a name all written on one of the sides of the LP, it's a Canadian pressing, but there's no scratches at all, so, uh, yep, I don't hesitate to splurge on a ra rare, rare Serge Gainsbourg record. And a, a man at another table had uh, only brought uh, his, uh, well, in his records, he only brought his 45s, he had a lot of clean 45s, unfortunately all stuff very common that I already had, like a few hundred records. And, and they were two for a buck, 50 cents each, and then BOOM! I, I've been wanting this for, sh for not that long actually. And I think I, I, I remember, I found an image of this record on, on Discogs. I don't know what pushed me to look for this. Uh, only one copy sold on Discogs for $17 and something. So what is it? Okay, well, it, it, you see first I have to explain. Um, several r uh, relatives worked for uh, La Banque d'Epargne, which in English is, let me look it up on here, it would be the uh, City and District Bank, the La Banque d'Epargne. It became a Banque Laurentienne, which became a terrible bank, and uh, I, uh, I left there. Anyway, I had one, two, three, four uncles and aunts who were in the, the same family worked for that bank. So, uh, rewind uh, mid to, yeah, around middle of the 1970s, uh, my uncle Jean-Jacques had given this record and that record to my cousin, uh, Benoit, same age as, as I am, and, uh, well, a few months older, and uh, he had a record player in the basement. We played the f these two records, and I, he really didn't have many records. So um, this one is "C'est quoi ton problème?" Thème publicitaire de la Banque d'Épargne, interprété par Lisa des Scarabées. So, uh, le groupe des Scarabées, il y avait Lisa. This bar là, il y a absolument rien. This side has absolutely nothing, no groove. Just black. It, it's not 1965. He explained to me the sleeves were so for other records. This one is à la bonne heure on est là. Uh, Temple du stade à la banque d'épargne interprété par Christine Chartrand et Jean-Paul Nolet. The other side of the English version. When you need us, we are there. Uh, again, uh, advertising team of the city and district bank with Christine Chartrand and Don McGowan. My father told me that uh, Jean-Paul Nolet was a uh, personality on the radio in the 60s. Um, both records are very clean and no scratches so yeah this is worth at least seventeen dollars there's ten people wanting it and zero people selling uh, indicating that they have it so blast from the past and there's an, a story behind this record after of course obviously that i've heard this record uh, in the basement of my uh, uncle's uh, place and my cousin's a record player I've heard eventually, not too long after that, that because my cousin didn't have any records, he played this over and over and over. My uncle got so fed up and, and uh, annoyed that he took the record out of the record player and then broke it. And he said he was so he yelled because he couldn't stand hearing this record anymore. I didn't see this happen, but when my cousin explained it to me, it was so tra traumatizing to hear like, like stories of record being broken when I was a kid. Yeah, it traumatized me. Uh, then I picked up two, the same table, picked up two other 45s, so I spent two dollars on 45s for records. This one usually is good disco, Skyline Records is a label. 
Uh, I'm a man by Star City. The other side is I can't get over you. Uh, didn't check it yet. This one, because I, I bought it recently, I forgot I bought it already. The OJs used to be my girl. I bought it on August 27. That's how stupid I am. But the same record twice. Maybe this one is cleaner than the other one. God, I'm stupid. This time, baby, on the other side, Miracle Mart, uh, labeled there 87 cents. But it, it's probably for a different record. Because it's obviously not 1964. So those four, four fives. Then another table much later, because I spent uh, a little bit more than three hours. Because the sellers arrive and arrive and arrive, they don't set up all at the same time. So you don't, you're afraid to leave. You want to check the new stuff that that comes out. And sure enough, I got too late at the, at one of the tables that set up late. I saw a guy uh, walking away from the aisle. And he had a Charlie Mingus L vinyl record under his arm and a couple of more records I couldn't see. I did find a table where I, I saw similar stuff and I didn't pick anything. So Anyway, going to this book. As a kid I didn't have many comics. Very, very, very few comics. So the ones I had I read a lot and I wore them out. This is a soft cover comic book. Lucky uh, Luke. Lucky Luke. We say Lucky Luke. Les Cousins d'Alton, I think it's the uh, first uh, uh, time that the, uh, the, the, the famous Daltons appeared in the series. All the pages are there. There's a start of, uh, be careful not to rip it off uh, right here. Gotta be careful. It was four, got it down to three. <laughs> don't ask me how I did that. <laughs> I don't know myself. Another table, a few useful things. I need a few envelopes to put paperwork in. So I don't know how many envelopes are in, in this thing, got this for a dollar and because sometimes we, I need a, or a friend of mine needs uh, empty DVD cases, these eight for a buck. So I gave the man two bucks for these. And I went back to a table where there was something cool for 20 bucks, I thought it was too expensive. And um, finally uh, at the end I said I'll try to see if I can get it down to maybe seventeen, eighteen dollars and I got it down for fifteen. Yeah, I offered fifteen and he said, Ah oh, you, you're 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 torturing me. Okay. I was so happy. So it's a, the first edition of a seven a bottle, a French uh, Montreal one, Marque Déposé, you see here. What's per particular is you have the bubble uh, bikini lady here. And what pushed me to buy this my my father is convinced that it's uh, the um, oh my god I forgot to look it up in English how to say that le clergé how uh, the, the religious uh, Quebec was in a uh, oh man I, all my explanations are in French I cannot translate them in English oh godness um, we were. I can't say it in English, really sorry, but religion was uh, omnipresent in Quebec and French Canadian culture and apparently the, the, the clerical uh, people in place in charge thought that it was outrageous to have a bikini lady. My father is convinced that they're the ones who got the, the, the lady removed. But I didn't have time to look up if it was the same thing in the States, uh, if it was just a Montreal thing. I, I have no idea. My, I don't think my father is right. But the reason I bought this bottle, like, aside from showing it to my dad, is because many years ago, I got the tin sign for this this uh, Seven Up a bilingual Seven Up ad. I uh, forgot the dimensions. I forgot to to bring up the the picture on my computer because it's the the tin sign is about let's say uh, just to compare. I have a comic book here. Maybe it's this big. And uh, it was a great deal. I got it for five bucks in the art sale. Oh my god! And it's this version of the bottle. It's a painted image of the bottle, realistic image. So this will be a nice companion piece to the tin sign that I have. Also, uh, of course, now I eat and drink uh, very, very healthy. So no, no soft drinks for me. I've cut them off even in, in the late 90s before I completely cut off uh, sugar. And uh, there's a lot of sugar in, so in soft drinks. But when I used to drink soft drinks, 7-Up was my favorite. I hated Sprite. I preferred 7-Up. 
and uh, anyway so it's just a cool uh, story so I got it for 15 bucks it goes for 10 15 Canadian on eBay but y I didn't have to pay the shipping it's not perfect but uh, had it been perfect would have been thirty dollars all this stuff was really expensive he had a lot of bottles and old things but really high prices so yeah that's that's all I got today but my favorite are not it is not one of my two splurges, 18 bucks and 15 bucks, but it's this. Didn't think I would find this fast. It's so hard to find. It's in perfect shape. And I, I know my cousin had two records, but I didn't even remember what the other one was. But now I know it's this one. It's about the same period because of the, the, ma the, ma the master number here. And I remember it was a different color. It had two sides probably was red so that had to be the other record there's not tons of uh, Bang Dia Pang records there was another publicity record that didn't cut, catch my eye at all it was uh, for the centennial of Canada the configura configuration Con conf uh, too tired sorry I can't find, find the word but uh, the 1867-1967 anniversary of Canada and uh, it was scratchy and I left it there anyway so those are my finds for today. Thanks for watching.